Hi, everyone. We're back from the BBI. Welcome to another one of our webinars. We're really excited to be here. Hi, guys. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you again this evening. Uh, we're in between seasons right now, but we want to give you a little bit of an update on what we can expect and what occurred. Yeah, we had a fabulous season, um, uh, which ended on the 15th of August. Since then, we've been taking a little bit of a breather. Uh, let, let's just go through what happened last season. So there was a lot of topping and changing, lots of different protocols. Finally, we arrived on the one that we like the best, <laughs> which was no quarantine for fully vaccinated travelers, which worked out really well, didn't that? Happen? It worked out really well. Yeah, the last couple of months of the season was actually great. We had uh, a lot of activity on our docks from uh, May onwards, all the way through to um, the first week in August. Uh, we had lots of very happy guests. They enjoyed a great time here in the BBI. Uh, enjoyed some great sailing and had a really good vacation. And not to mention, we had more ferries running. We had two ferries running each way. So that was one ferry in the morning, one ferry later in the morning um, to St. Thomas and back. And so that just made getting to BVI much easier from St. Thomas that, you know, we most people like that, don't they? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's worked very, very well. Um, we've, we're have now in our peak booking time for next season. We're taking lots of new bookings every day. Um, I should just slip in here maybe that uh, lots of periods are getting very, very heavily booked up for next season. I'm sure you've noticed that, Rasika. Oh, God, that it is. <laughs> and you know what was most exciting? Um, the uptake of vaccinations in the BVI has gone up and it's do they're doing really well. We are a small island. We're trying to keep ourselves safe and we are trying to make ourselves safe so that you guys can come back down here and have a good time. We want you to have a safe and, you know, healthy charter. So yeah. uh, all the uh, one good bit of news is that every member of the Conk Charters team has been fully vaccinated. Uh, all of us have now had two doses. Um, so that is really good. We want ourselves protected, obviously, but we also want to make sure that you're protected and safe while you're here with us. Uh, the uptick on vacations is continuing here in the BVI. Uh, we have a very active program encouraging people to get vaccinated. Uh, so we're all out for safety. Absolutely. And, you know, there was great charters. There was good news and now even better news. So we have one familiar face coming back to us and one new face. Yeah, we're just going to introduce you to Caitlin. Say hi, Caitlin. Hi, everyone. My name is Caitlin. I'm the new customer care representative here, and I'm happy to have joined the Conk Charters team um, and look forward to a very busy season with you all. Yeah, Caitlin's going to be on the dock, so she's going to be assisting Ross and the guys <laughs> on the dock and doing some boat briefing with you. And another old, old face here who's come back and joined us again, Bernadette, come and say hello. Hi. So that's Bernadette. I'm Bernadette, part of the admin team. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Bernadette's going to be helping you with helping us with the chart briefings, and she's one of our local experts. So when you see Bo Bernadette or Caitlin on the docks, don't you know? Say a big hello and feel free to ask them any questions you like. So what we've got something fun planned for you guys. So we have a little bit of a video from one of our previous charter guests, just to show you what's been going on in the BVI. Shall we have a look? Yeah, we'll have a look. It's just two minutes. As soon as the two minutes are up, we'll be right back with you.
So hi guys, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that video, and hopefully you guys can do much of a lot of that when you come down here and charter with us. So we're going to quickly. Uh, while you the video was on, a painkiller arrived. So uh, cheers, guys. Cheers. Well, mine is a virgin mojito, also called a lemonade, because I think I have to reveal that I'm a little bit up the duff for the moment, <laughs> and you might have another member of another fem another new face joining Kong Charters. So, shall we talk about the new pro the poor protocols now, Ian? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so moving forward, uh, for fully vaccinated um, arrivals, you are going to do. I should actually point out that all of this information is on our website. We've set it out very, very clearly. About three quarters of the way down the home page, it says entering the BVI, what to expect. It's all clearly laid out. If you uh, need to refresh your memories on it, so. Um, you will take a PCR test with it or an antigen test within five days of arrival. Uh, submit that to the portal. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the portal shortly. Um, on arrival, the vac fully vaccinated passengers will take a rapid test at the point of entry, port of entry, uh, results in about 15 to 20 minutes. As soon as you get those negative results, you are free to go anywhere you like in the BVI. There is no quarantine. So that makes life far easier. So that's absolutely right. Uh, before you arrive, you take a test five days before you get here. You upload your details to the online portal, um, which is a pretty straightforward process. We are, me and Ian are here on hand in case you need any, you have any questions around it. We're always happy to help. Um, but uh, I think these are one of the most straightforward protocols in the in the Caribbean right now. It, the, indeed, yeah. I'm actually trying to fill in two right now for other islands. I'm going on vacation on Saturday, and the BVI one is actually one of the easiest. I can't believe we let you <laughs> out, Ian. <laughs> so, if you guys have any specific questions about the entry protocols, please let us know. I just want to say here that in a lot of different places online, there are different conflicting informations, like other com. You know, other charter companies I be here are saying that people may need to quarantine. That is not true. If you look up the BVI government website, they might put out like old information, which is also incorrect. So please come to us. We make it our jobs to go find out the real right information for you. Ian here knows a lot of people in the BVI government, and he, he's here with first-hand information with you, for you, and which he's going to share for you with you right now. Okay. So, um, oh. There's a picture of me there. You will actually see, I do have a life outside Conk Charters. Um, <laughs> I'm very um, active in our um, vaccination task force. So I've been involved in getting people in the territory uh, vaccinated and assisting all of our vaccination drives. Um, I've also held many meetings recently with the Premier and the Premier's office and the Tourist Board. And we've set up a working group to make the online BVI portal much easier. Um, uh, and user friendly. Right. So if you've traveled to us this season and you're using the portal again, you will see some differences. Uh, a lot of the information has been removed, uh, such as the customs and immigration forms. They are gone. So there's a lot less information that you need. It will in the coming weeks, hopefully before the start of the new season, become fully automated as well. So anybody that is fully vaccinated will get an automatic a response as long as all the information has been correctly uploaded. Um, so you will be cleared straight away. For uh, non-vaccinated and partially vaccinated people, they are going to guarantee a response within eight hours. So that does make life far easier. Um, hopefully you will see the benefits of this uh, when you come to use the portal. Uh, as Rasika said, if you do have any difficulties, we are in daily contact with the BBI portal team and uh, we can pass on any questions, queries, 
or any help that you need and get it sorted for you. I'm pleased to say that during last season, we never lost anyone. We managed to get everyone into the BVI Absolutely. that was coming. Sometimes it did come down to the last minute. We had people standing at the ferry desk in St. Thomas, but we got them here. Absolutely. We wouldn't. Mm -hmm. well, if you book your charter and you want to come, we're going to make every, if we are going to move things to make you come down here and make your charter happen, guys. We want you to come here and have a good time. Um, but I know there's lots of questions coming in. So we're going to go through our presentation. And in the end, we're noting down all the questions. And in the end, we're going to address them all so that's kind of a gist about what the protocols are and what is coming up in terms of how to get here so the summary is things are easy and they're going to get easier and they're going to get easier the, the government knows that we need tourism absolutely we need visitors into the bvi and they have finally realized they have to work with the charter companies with the hotels with the villa operators and make life as easy as possible we know we have a lot of competition out there in the caribbean and we need to get visitors in here and we need to make it work absolutely and we're super excited for next season i'll tell you why we're really excited as well because all these favorite all our old favorite places are coming back look at that foxy's is back he's not wearing his underwear <laughs> as a mask anymore thankfully he's moved on to a real mask and so is all the lovely places in yoshwan dyke harris's place and soggy dollar bar they're all back yeah, Anagada, you've got the Wonky Dog, Cowrec, Lob Lolly, they'll all be open and operating for this season. What about the Lobster Taco at Flash of Beauty? Oh, it's my favorite restaurant. Yeah. I can't wait for my next trip over to Anagada. Oh, yeah, hopefully it's for Lobster it. Festival. I've put my leave in now. Uh, uh, I'm ahead, they're ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> so Cooper Island Beach Club is back as well for all those people who love the CIBC. And Trellis Bay has some new places that you can check out. What uh, And do you recognize any of these places? I recognize them. Can somebody type up on the screen where they are? So uh, we have very, very exciting news. We're super excited that Saber Rock is opening up next. Oh, there you go. You go. Well done, Mike. And um, really, yes, absolutely. Saber Rock is coming back. Yes, Saber Rock is opening uh, next month in October. You can see a picture of there of how it will look. Uh, it's been redesigned. It's a beautiful um, a couple of weeks ago, I was heading over to Royal Nut and went past it. It really does look look great. And Bitter End as well. Both of them, I think, are coming back as eco resorts. Yes, both are eco resorts. We don't have an actual opening date for, uh, for Bitter End as yet, but it will be this season. I'm hoping before Christmas. Absolutely. So both of these places have been down since um, the hurricanes. So we are really excited to have them back. Yes. So... Um... So how are you going to get to these places? In fact, we have even better news. We have some really cool boats available in October and November in our low season. We still have few gaps left. I know Ian was saying that we have been taking bookings. In fact, we took quite a few bookings today, didn't we? We took quite a few bookings today, yeah. Yeah, and for next season. But right now we have a few gaps in October, which we wanted to tell you guys about. Um, we've got our Lagoon 42 2017 four cabin four head available right there that you can see. And in another catamaran, we have the 44 Leopard available, um, four cabins, four heads, um, AC and generator for the low price of 5999 for 10 nights. That's an amazing wow, deal. That's, that's a really good deal. Yes, yeah, under $600 a night. Um, fantastic deal. And for eight people as well. We also have a couple of monohulls there, guys. A small monohull, joyous one, which has literally come up on fleet uh, na right now. And a Genoa 409 also available. So if you want to, you know where to find us. If you want to make a booking on any of these yachts, just drop us an email and we'll be able to give you one of our best deals on Kiel's prices. Most definitely, yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then what's happening for Christmas? What's a, Do we have a Christmas? We do have a few openings still at Christmas. Um, Christmas is really filling up quite quickly, but we do have a couple in there, Asika. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite boats, uh, Silver Girl, the Genoa 469, uh, oh, yes. is available for Christmas still. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, Ian, you know what I've done? I've, I put up the wrong price on that. So please... Don't take these prices on this channel. Oh. <laughs> that is not the price. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, I believe the Genoa 469 over Christmas, uh, New Year, is $61.99. That's right. It's $61.99. I love this boat, not only because it's got that amazing master suite in the front with its own head and a little bit, and a, you know, like a vanity station. It's got AC. It's got generator. It's got a self-packing jib and a propane barbecue. It's so lovely. It's, I love it. I, and uh, for those of you who have met me, you will know that I am very, very tall, six foot.
foot six, I can stand up right in Silver Girl. There you go. You, mm -hmm. you could. I would never pass that test. I'm just five feet <laughs> tall. I, it doesn't work for me. Okay, let's. So what else do we have? We also have the Helia 44 available for Christmas and New Year. This one again has AC generator. It, yeah, it's it's a great boat. Um, it has a lovely sun lounge deck. I know it was so fun when we took it out on our staff day exactly, out, wasn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. We had we were all lounging on the sun lounge deck and yeah, you know it's really, and going you have, up to um, really deep. A larger party, a convertible salon. Absolutely. So if you have kids or you know you are you're traveling with a few other people, you can who don't mind sleeping on the convertible salon. So go ahead and book this boat for up to ten people. Yeah, and finally we save the best one for last. I think the Lagoon Forty Two Twenty Nineteen. It's a brand new addition to our fleet. She's coming all the way from the Med. She's coming from the Med. She's um, This boat is doing summers in the Med and winter seasons with us here yeah, at Yeah, we're Conk. very lucky to um, have her. She is filling up nicely, um, but we do have an opening for her Christmas and New yeah, Year. we literally have a um, few spots. Again, left. a convertible salon. She has a four-peak cabin that can be used. Um, and one of the big differences with this one, Masika, a water maker. I know. This is, a, this is a new thing that people like to have on board, isn't it? A water maker so this boat does have a water maker so you can go ahead as um and an ac and a generator so you can go ahead and let us know if you're interested in any of these boats you know where to for contact us we're on our usual email address sailing at conkcharters.com and finally what are we what else are we looking forward to this year okay um before we talk about the boat show Rasika, let me just let uh janice and joe know that we will most definitely be talking, Jamie, sorry, we will most definitely be talking about the ferries. So just uh, bear with us for a couple of more minutes and then we'll talk about the ferries, Joe. Absolutely, we will talk about the ferries. But before the ferries, we just wanted to touch on the the Annapolis Boat Show this year. Finally, after a hiatus last year, we're coming back to the boat show and our theme this year is going to be rediscovering the BBI. Uh, we're going to have a fun little game on our stand, a little treasure chest and try your hand and win some cool prizes, which might be, um gold doubloons it might be a sunken treasure who knows you know so come and check it we are in vacation basin where all the other charter companies are on stall 30 23 20, and 24, 24 yeah. and the even better we are oh streaming connection lost oh what is that can you hear us how long has that been down well, it's just come up I think we lost you <laughs> okay, okay, okay we're, there back. We're, we're back. back sorry about that don't know what happened um the joys of the islands yes um, so. so we were talking about the boat show uh very excited to be back at the boat show this year uh we have a new location as rasika was saying vacation basin stands 23 and 24. absolutely and you can buy discounted tickets from us so if you buy a premier day ticket for uh, attending the boat show on 24 on the 14th of october um, it's $35 on the Annapolis Boat Show website, but you can buy it from us for $20. And you can buy general admission tickets from us from $10. So just give us a call or uh, drop us an email and we'll sort you out on that. Yeah, we just need your credit card details to make the charge. Um, and uh, then we will, like we've done in previous years, we'll email the tickets to you. Absolutely. So that's great news. So, um, that, so that's that's kind of the end of our presentation. Now we would like to go through any questions. So shall I... I think I've noted a few down. So Linda first asked, what is the situation with moorings and anchorings and night stops in the BVI? Should we, should, what, what do we recommend, Ian? Um, the very busy spots, we do recommend that you get too early if you're not going to pre-reserve. Yeah. Uh, we do have a company called um, Boaty Ball. Mm -hmm. You can check out their web website at boatyball.com. Um, where you can pre-reserve your mooring balls so you can get there a little bit later in the day. Um, there are periods that it's going to be busy um, and Cooper Island, for example, immediately springs to mind. Somewhere like that, if you're not pre-reserving, we do recommend that you get there early in the day. Um, but with Boaty Ball, 
you can pre-reserve and you can get in no problem. So we are not, we don't really like anchoring because we like our coral reefs, we like our seagrass, we like to keep our mooring ball, picking up a mooring ball is just much better for the environment. For the environment. We like and, to keep the BBI pristine. Yes, absolutely. And if you wanted to anchor, please do anchor only, in, we only allow you to anchor in 10 to 15 feet of water. All this stuff will be gone, you will take you through all this during our chart and board briefing as well. So um, we also, Linda also asked about the exit test for the US. Okay, so there are numerous places now around the BVI where you can get your exit tests. Um, please do keep a check on your destination and how you're entering the US. Puerto Rico and the USVI do have different requirements. The USVI has changed their requirements quite a few times recently. So we do ask you to keep up with that uh, and make sure that you're um, doing what is necessary for your onward journey. We will advise where you can get the shit test, what you can do. Um, very easy to do. I did my PCR test for my travel this morning. Mm -hmm. um, I was back in the office in what, 20 minutes, Rusica, from Absolutely, when I left? Yeah. yeah, there's plenty of places. With a cup of coffee, so that's With a cup go. of coffee. There is, uh, <laughs> there's places in, um, in the uh, road town where you can do it, Joost van Dijk, Virgin Gorda. Um, there are the public health clinics, as well as a number of the private clinics, uh, very close to our base where you can walk to to do the exit test. Absolutely. If you're doing the antigen test for entry into St. Thomas, you get the results in 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I did my PCR test this morning and I already have the result. Uh, so it was about six hours to get my PCR test results and uh, antigen tests about 20 minutes. Are, are people still okay to take those uh, self-testing kits? Yes, uh, for going into St. Thomas currently, you can take use the self-testing kit. Uh, as long as it's proctored, mm -hmm. um, you cannot enter St. Thomas currently with an antibody test. Right. It is the antigen test only. And the price varies, right? The price varies depending on whether you're using a public clinic or a um, private clinic. I think it's about $75, $80 for the antigen test right. at the private clinics. The PCR test I did this morning was $125, uh, but that guarantees same day results. There you go. So you have a range. So we will be more than happy to help you out, point you in the right direction. And we'll talk you through all of this stuff when you're doing, when we do your chart briefing. As yes. Well. And, and we also, um, we also give you a very detailed arrival information email. You'll get that approximately three to four weeks before your arrival. And that gives you a load of information, which will cover a lot of the questions that you're going to ask, uh, be asking. So a lot of people have been asking us about ferries. Ferries. Okay. So we went up to two ferries a day um, for the latter part of the season. Yes. They departed Road Town at 8 and uh, 11. 11. 11 yeah. yeah. And then they came over from St. Thomas at 2.30 and 4.30. As we are now in the quiet season and we don't have many tourists here, we are down to one ferry a day, which as it was at the request of the ferry operators. That is in effect until the 15th of October. From the 16th of October, there will be additional ferries. At the very minimum, we will go back to the two a day. We are, though, very hopeful that there will be additional services. Absolutely. Um, the ferries have been capacity restricted to allow for social distancing. We have requested, and it has been approved by our government, that, so, that the uh, capacity restrictions be lifted. We are still waiting on the approval of the United States Virgin Islands authorities as to whether they will allow that as well. Uh, certainly for our bigger ferries, we've asked that that, that that doesn't apply because at the moment the 65 people is regardless on the size of the ferry, which kind of doesn't make too much sense. We are certainly hoping for the season we will have three plus ferries a day. Um, I see that some people are saying you can't book ferries. Reservations are only open until the 15th of October currently, as the ferry companies do not know what their schedules will be from the 16th of October onwards. They have submitted schedules to the BVI government. They have been approved here. We are waiting on the US authorities to approve them over there as well. As soon as we get them, as usual, we will put links on our website and on our Facebook page, letting you know that, um, that the uh, ferries are bookable from the 16th of October onwards. So don't worry, if you're getting here in the later part of October, don't worry about your ferry journey. We will let you know we are, we are staying on top of this and we'll send you an arrivals email letting you know 
Um, the ferry schedule has been aw become available. We'll put it on our Facebook page. We'll also update our website. Yeah. Uh, for the larger groups, people that have got larger number of people coming, there also are uh, quite a few water taxi operators running. Uh, they've done a great job in the last few months. Absolutely. Um, they will bring you directly to our docks after you've cleared customs and immigration, and they pick you up from our docks. Um, so a lot of our guests have found that the cost for the larger groups hasn't been that much more. No, than the and, and and I think it's the, the convenience as well. They help you do all the processing stuff. Exactly. They process. Uh, they help you through all the customs and immigration stuff as well. So they fill out a little a paperwork for you. So do try um, some a water taxi company if you are interested, like Ocean Dreams. Yes, Ocean oh. Dreams. Yeah, uh, the, there's there's various. Yes, and chill operations. out charters, which are chill out charters and Ocean Dreams are the ones that we recommend. So you could try those guys. Um, Tom was asking about something completely different. He was asking where to get scuba tank refills. Um, okay, so on our website, there is a section about um, what to do in the BVI. Right, that's right. And the uh, dive scuba operators are all listed there. Uh, they will be able to tell you where you can refill. I know you can refill tanks on Cooper Island. That's right. And it also depends on which uh, dive company you're ordering exactly. from. They will be able to tell you. They might even... They might be able to organize that much better for you. So speak to your dive company about scuba tank refills. Um, we've had another question from Gary about storing luggage at the base. Okay, so uh, at the height of uh, when we COVID, when we opened last season, it was recommended that we didn't. Um, we will go back to storing uh, bags again for this for this season. Yes. So, uh, but as per usual, make sure you travel with foldable luggage. Don't bring huge hard back cases, which we do have limited space as well. Exactly, we have so space. Uh, just to make it easier for you while traveling and stowing it on board or coming out, leaving it with us, we would always recommend soft-sided luggage. Exactly. Uh, we get asked a lot about snorkeling equipment. Uh, purely for a safety uh, point of view at the moment, we are recommending that you bring your own masks and snorkels. Uh, and use our flippers. If you want to use our masks and snorkels, you are most certainly very welcome to use them. They are fully sanitized between use, but just as an added layer of safety, we are recommending that you bring your own where possible. Absolutely. Uh, entirely, entirely up to you though on that. And a couple of people have asked about the curfew and if restaurants and bars are open. Yes, of course, everything is open. We do have a curfew currently um, from 11 p.m. until 5 a.m. Yeah. Uh, we did, uh, many of you will be aware, we did have a big spike in cases at the end of June. Um, it was brought under control very, very quickly, I'm pleased to say. Yeah. Um, it is being managed properly now. Um, and we still currently have the curfew. I think it's due to expire on the 18th of September. But that is not stopping any bars and restaurants. That's not stopping any bars and restaurants. Bars and restaurants are all fully open. Yes. Well, they will be come the season. They're, they're always closed in September. I know. When, and when I know the pub, just has, the pub is doing a great job. They are yeah. still open and they're delivering drinks, which is really tasty. Um, and they've got a new menu out as well. So all the play, all your, like we said earlier in the presentation, all your old favorites are back and there are going to be some new yep. places as well. Oh, yes, indeed, Linda. The results all come by email. That's how I've just received my results. Um, and yes, you can get them printed out. If you forward them back to us, we will print them for you. Although uh, the US and Puerto Rico do accept seeing them on your phone. Absolutely. And don't worry, we are here on hand. So uh, Rick asked about government licensing for recreational fishing. So this is very straightforward. There's a link on our website um, for uh, to apply for a government fishing permit. It, they charge you $40, but they don't give you, interestingly, they don't give you a, a, a certificate that you've got it. <laughs> so just go ahead, apply for it. Or the easiest way to do this, I find, is to ask your water sports provider to do the application for yes, you. Yes, if you rent fishing equipment, yes. they will do it on your behalf. So just ask the person who's who you're renting your fishing equipment from to just uh, to apply for your fishing permit for you, and they will sort it out for you. That way, you don't have the hassle, and you you know you can you can go on a stress-free charter. Exactly. Uh, for Walt, yes, you can bring food into the BVI. All food must be declared to a customs officer on arrival. It is at the discretion of the officer whether you are charged duty. Uh, usually for small amounts, they don't. Um, Gary is asking about protocols for unvaccinated children. If children are traveling with fully vaccinated adults, they do, they do a test on arrival um, and a PCR test on arrival, uh, results within 24 hours. 
during that time they don't have to quarantine but they should remain within the family bubble and um, once they get that clearance within 24 hours they then are free to go wherever you want so no quarantine for uh, children traveling with fully vaccinated parents uh, somebody also i saw earlier did ask about um unvaccinated arrivals if you are partially vaccinated that's having one of the two doses or having the two but not within two weeks of arrival there is a four-day quarantine if you are unvaccinated there is a seven-day quarantine uh yeah that's right um so and david is asking about any problems flying gatwick and tega tortola no, no absolutely. i had friends that arrived in the bbi this week they went exactly that route in gatwick and tega tortola actually i did that route in june you did you went to the uk yeah, in june. june and it was fine it was really comfortable yep. um and the flights were on time it was fantastic uh patricia how long does it take to get to the pcr as i said a few minutes ago i did a pcr test this morning and received the result back about six hours later you can also do an antigen test for re-entry into saint thomas results in 20 minutes well uh just quickly shall we talk about provisioning i know when COVID, when COVID happened we started uh asking people to all out only order their food online because they couldn't go to the supermarket because they were quarantining and you know what we found that doing it online was so much easier people loved it they'd get here and the provisioning was all put away yeah there'd be bill beers and wine in the cooler so they could have a cold one straight away um if you are fully vaccinated obviously there is no requirement to pre-order your provisioning anymore we do however recommend it yeah go it just ahead. makes it so much easier for you Go ahead and order your, you know, gallons of water and your big, you know, boxes, cases of beers and big cases of wine yeah. and all that stuff online. They deliver it to your boat. And I think it's free after if you order over $150. Yes, yeah, definitely. Uh, if you do need to pick up any items, we still have the small branch of right way, two minutes walk away. If you need to go to the main right way store, the big supermarket, they have again issued us with complimentary taxi vouchers. Mm -hmm. So each boat can get two complimentary round trip taxi vouchers if you want to go to the main right way supermarket. That is right. And all this information again is on our website. So make sure to have a look. Um, so John's asking about approved vaccinations for the BBI. Uh, I believe all, all vaccinations are approved, including Sinochem. There you go. And we will also accept mixed vaccinations. There, so um, there, we are being as flexible as possible to make sure all of you guys can come here. So um, do we have any other questions? Can we scroll back? Just yes, so let's have another anything. look to see if we missed anything. If you guys have any other questions, obviously you can also reach us on email at sailing at kongcharters.com. We'll be sending out an, uh, an email blast with this whole webinar. So you can go ahead and watch that um and you know if you if you needed to if, if i know we did break up a little yes, bit didn't we exactly uh, we will be asking you as part of our arrival um email that we sent you we will be asking you for your vaccination status for everybody on board the boat that just means that we can um provide you with the right information depending on what your vaccination status is so jamie wants to know where we can obtain a return COVID test so there's a lot of places here jamie there is uh you can bring your own test kit like a binax now test kit i don't know if that were if you i think you can buy it in cvs or walgreens uh, bring that over and do it on your boat you can also order a concierge service or you can go to one of the clinics there's actually a pens medicals clinic which is right beside our dock you can dinghy over go to the clinic get your test done and dinghy back to your boat so there's lots of different options there's information on our bvi travel protocols page there's all we will also give you this information when you get to base here so you don't have to worry about it right now we'll help you we'll be on hand um somebody's asking about sargassum uh it's a summer phenomenon we have had sargassum this summer um it's been affecting it south coast and also the north coast beaches have... but it's as we go into the fall it tends to go uh it's very unusual to see it uh as we go into october and yeah moving and it's it's not yeah it kind of blows away october yeah, exactly. during season it, it's it's absolutely I, I doubt you will see it it's usually a, it's a summer thing yeah and uh no body ball you can re uh reserve um you have to reserve on the same day they also have some options for reserving 24 hours in advance they're bringing new features out in boaty ball so I, I would say watch the space for boaty ball i know they were trying to trialing some 24 hours in advance 
mooring ball reservation. But it was quite the, expensive. But it was it? quite expensive. Yeah. So watch this space is yeah. what I'm saying. And there is another service as well right now. As and when this information comes out, we will put it we out. We will put it out. Um, Gary, all of our boats can go to Anagada subject to weather conditions. Um, yeah, go to Anagada, enjoy, have some wonderful lobster over there. Um, Uwe, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, what are the hours of the COVID test clinics? It depends where you go. The private and the public clinics will be different. Um, we will give you all the information. Uh, you can contact the one that you want to test that. They'll tell you what they're operating. Ian, I think I am ready for another drink. How are you Ooh, looking? Very soon. <laughs> very soon. <laughs> Any so more questions before we uh, come to wrap up? We can bring our over. Yes, as long as Willie, as long as your onward destination um, allows you to do a COVID test yourself, then yes, you can bring it. The St. Thomas currently does allow it. I'm not 100% certain on Puerto Rico. Uh, you would need to check that because um, they keep chopping and changing their requirements. But as of the moment, Willie, really, yes, we're returning into St. Thomas. You can do your own proctored test. Yes, seven days a week, Linda. Do you expect? Yes, uh, we accept Sputnik vaccine. Fantastic. I think it's time for us to go. Well, how's your drink doing, Ian? Um, done. Done? So... Uh, who proctors the test? Uh, don't know, Ricky. Um, you have to open them, and I think you connect with the... Uh, you follow the instructions follow the inside instructions and you connect the, to their, to the their website. Yeah. So we're off to get another drink. I'm going to have another virgin mo uh, <laughs> mojito. And what about you, Ian? Uh, I'm going to have another painkiller. So it was really great to connect with you guys. Thank you so much for coming through and seeing uh, and attending our webinar. Again, if you have any questions, you know where to find us. Um, have a great evening and we look forward to seeing you on the dock soon. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, um, it's going to be a great season. We've got lots of you coming back. We've got lots of bookings coming in. Um, the BVI is open and we'll welcome you. Uh, we'll do everything possible to make sure you have a great vacation. If you have any questions, you can call us on our 800 numbers. Email us on sailing at conkcharters.com. We are always here for you. Um, message us through our Facebook page. Get um, in touch. Yeah, keep in touch. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We look forward to seeing you too, um, Jared, in November. And we'll see you all very soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming tonight. Bye.